the first thing I want to do is, is, is bring to your attention that a lot um, of the ignorance in relationship to piercings and tattoos and also dreadlocks uh, is that a lot of these things are closely associated uh, with, the rel with the Hindu religion. Um, and one reason I also love Hinduism um, as a lifestyle is because it's all about, you know, spiritual flamboyance, <laughs> about rocking all of these spiritual traditions. Um, that's why you'll see a lot of piercings, tattoos, you know, jewelry, different things like this, because it's all about adorning ourselves and treating ourselves as the divine also, and just representing that divinity in form. And that's even why we have our hair in jatas. Amen. With, uh, and, and that, uh, to me, is amazing. You say, well, why? Well, one of the things that we need to understand as believers, the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, in verse 2, that you and I are not to be conformed, amen, uh, to this world. You say, well, what do you mean? Uh, we are not to pattern ourselves, uh, our life, our behavior, our appearance to that of the world. And, and the reason why, okay, don't, don't <laughs> take it easy, but the reason why we're not to do that is because the God of this world is the one who's energizing, amen, and influencing you and I to conform to the world. Now that when you look around and see all these Christians in all these churches, amen, that have taken on a, and they, and they are totally ignorant, I'm, I'm sure they are. I, 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 it's hard for me to even believe that someone who professes to be a Christian would intentionally want to be associated with a Hindu deity. It, it, that's hard for me to even believe that that's something someone would do as a Christian. I actually want to talk to you about dreadlocks and where they originated and actually the spiritual significance of dreadlocks or as uh, in India as they call them Shiva Jatas. So dreadlocks actually originated in India. You know Shiva is the first being ever to wear dreadlocks. dreadlocks you are actually embodying the divine how because when you look like Shiva eventually you will act like Shiva and ultimately become Shiva so Jatas is another way of embodying Shiva embodying the divine embodying your divine nature now that you're actually looking like it looking like the divine you are more it's more easier for you to become the divine when you look when you act like it amen we need to understand something when we start dressing and looking and acting you remember what the, what that young lady said that when you begin to look like this deity, you will begin to act like this deity, and then you will begin to be transformed into that deity. And that's basically the same principle that we have, amen, as believers. The problem is nobody wants to look and act like Jesus. Everybody wants to look and act like the sorry, hell-bound world we live in. The Bible tells us that we are to conform to the image of of Christ, not the image of some Hindu deity. Remember that, brothers and sisters in Christ. And regardless of what pictures you see, Jesus did not have dreads. <laughs> uh, that would be considered an abomination for Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to bear the image of a Hindu deity. Somebody out there, please say amen. All right. 
<laughs> Hopefully that helped.